Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a 105 FH18B2, the French Tier 5 Premium SPG, one of only two premiums in the game. And this one's on the south westbourne of Karelia, under the command of Giddy Liddy of Reborn. Okay, game started. Well, as I said at the start, it's a 105, that's the calibre. 105 millimeters. It's the light field howitzer. That's where the Le FH comes from. And well, it's based on a Char B1 hull. And of course, the Germans called the Char B1s that they captured B2s. So that's where you get the 105 Le FH. The 18 is the caliber length and uh, all the caliber times the, the barrel length in calibers times the um, times the 18. And of course the B2 is the hull. So after all that, getting a long way round, Giddy Liddy set up in this corner and she's now going to look on the enemy. Well, no targets. Oh, she's got a target. It's a leopard. And she's got no shot because she's got a red line. I think it's that rock that's right in front of her is obstructing her field of fire to the east side of the map. She's going to have a look at that Cromwell. Oh, she can fire over him because he's far enough away the gun can elevate. Dialing in. Looks good. Rounds out. Just missed him. Going to go for the Panzer, four, uh, Panzer 3 4 instead. Blind shot. No. He moved position. But he's taken fire. It looks like he's tracked. This could be a kill shot if she gets this one in. Oh, and he's killed before her shell arrives. So unfortunate there. Now this 105mm gun will do 410 alpha, penetrating 53mm of armour. And that's pretty good actually. The burst radius is just under 2 metres. She's aiming for that uh, Achilles or the Leopard. I think she's actually aiming for the Achilles. Okay, she's looking closer to see. Is there any clues to where they are? Well, she's fired around in there and there's no joys. So I suspect that the Achilles might be behiding behind that bush actually more than anything. But well, there's an M10 RBFM who just took a massive magazine load from the Leopard. Oh, and he goes the next shot. In fact, he, the 25 TP was the killer. M4A1. Oh, he's hiding behind the rock and he just moved forward. We've mocked him as target to let our teammates know. He's pulling back. Here we goes. Rounds out. Oh, just misses. Can't hit him. He's, he's sitting behind that rock. He's firing on the KV-1. The KV-1 doesn't really seem concerned. And unfortunately, no joy on that. We've got no shots on him. There's the Achilles. He's moved. Okay, he's just backing up, basically, which is rather silly because you're so much slower when you're backing up. I so you're much better when you're moving forward. He's stationary, rounds out. Oh, and he moves just at the right moment to avoid the shell. But he takes the shell anyway. He must have moved forward when we couldn't see him. And we fired another round at exactly the same spot. And he has moved now. Okay, there was a strip M42 there. And we lost the KV-1 to their Leopard. Okay, I try not to fire too many blind shots because you don't want to waste ammo. Oh, but she got a kill with a blind shot. A Strith M42, who was there, and she she knew from the minimap that he was seen there. She did see him before, and she got a kill, a blind kill on him. He's not going to be happy about that, but there's not much he can do. That leopard's waiting in ambush for the 25 TP sitting on that corner. We can certainly help the 25 TP by putting a round into the Leopard, but I'm pretty sure that Leopard knows that he's in danger if he stays where he was. So he's decided to push forward and try and engage that 25 TP head on. Okay, well, she's going for the IKV-65 now, who's just turning at that moment. Oh, she's adjusted her aim slightly to the south. I think she's firing in where she thinks he might be. Unfortunately, we lost the 25 TP. 
and now we know that the M4A1 is somewhere along the west side of the map. Best not to blind fire. She has got very good view range. This RT does have 390 meters view range. So she will probably see the M4 before he saw her. But she's going to re relocate. And it's probably a wise decision because she doesn't want to be out in the open when the M4 does get sight of her. Probably better to let one of her teammates spot the M4 for her. The scores are tied at the moment. Still seven enemies out there though. As far as we know, they're all on, well, they're all on the northeast corner of the map because apart from the M4A1, there's the Achilles still hiding behind that rock. Well, he's gone back to the rock again. He was, he did move over slightly to the west. She's fired a blind shot in and she got a direct hit again. Another blind shot on target. She's fired another round in just to be sure it didn't fall where the last shell went. So he's probably moved by now. Yep, he's probably gone. She's only got 14 rounds left. So she needs to... Oh, 14 rounds of HE, that is. She does have six rounds of AP. Now, the thing about the AP rounds is you do have to get a direct hit for it to count. Uh, she's 12 rounds left now. Need to be careful with your ammo. There's the Achilles. He moved quite some distance. He knocked a tree down, which wasn't very good. She fired in anticipation of him moving back. He didn't. He managed to spoof her. And she's fired around. But now we've got this T-150 coming around the corner. Now would be a good idea to use those AP rounds rather than the HE ones. Because the AP will go through that T-150's hull. If she can get a direct hit. There he is. He's just using that corner against the OI. Rounds out. Oh, he pulls back just after she shoots. But she gets a direct hit. 193 hit points off that one. And another direct hit. 46. She's getting these shells onto the engine bay. Unfortunately, we lost the OI, but he's now engaging that M10. We fire another round in, and it's another direct hit. 125. He's got 71 hit points left. He's a one-shot. If we can get it on target. No. Our fellow RT in the AMX 13 F3 is firing as well, but he went round the corner. And there's the M4A1. Instead of actually coming in our direction, he actually headed back to his own cap. And he stopped suddenly. We're dialing in. Rounds out. Long flight time. It's the other side of the battlefield. And he's gone. She's only got three rounds of HE left. Then she's going to be on to the AP. And with the AP, there's no splash. You have to get a direct hit. For it to count. And there's still five enemy out there. Oh, the IKV just got killed. Our AMX 13 F3 managed to splash him to death. But she's only got two rounds of HE left now. There's four on both sides. The enemy team has got three RT and, of course, that T-150. Our team has got two RT and two tank destroyers. And the tank destroyers are Jackson, who's got two kills... And a bathtub, the S35CA, who hasn't got any kills at all. Both of our RT have got kills, but the Jackson is badly damaged, so he really can't do much more than ambush at a distance. But we do know that the T150 has only got 71 hit points himself. So he probably wouldn't survive one shot. And once he's gone, it's only RT on the enemy team. They do have three RTs, the FB304, an SU-8, and a Gorilla. Now, that's quite a formidable number of RT, especially the FB304, because it's very mobile. But it does depend on how good that player is. Can he handle the FB304? It does take a bit of practice to know how to use it as a TD instead of as an RT. We 
and she's advancing using her uh, good view range. The MX-13 F3, he's not bothering, he's just moving straight up as quickly as he can. But then he's got the 13-ton chassis, the, the light tank chassis, with a big 155mm gun on. It slows it down a bit, but it also has got one hell of a punch, and he took a round from the T-150. He's going in for the kill, and he shotguns him. Or is it the Jackson got the kill, actually? But one of the enemy RT did fire in at our guys after they got the kill. And you can see some RT rounds coming in. So I guess those guys will be vacating that area. And of course, we're probably not going to be in spotting range. The Jackson just took another hit, which is not going to be very good for him. He's down to 15 hit points now. Oh, we can see the FV304. And he can probably see us. We've auto aimed on dialing in on target. And we fire around it. Oh, no, missed the target with that round. Gone to auto, um, manual aim. Lining up a shot. You've only got one HE round left, so make it count. Because you're going to be onto the AP after this. The AMX-13 F3 is moving up to the corner. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. We fire around it. Oh, it hits the rock face. Now she's on, on the AP. She has to get direct hits now to make it count. One of those RT might be on their way to the our cap right now. If they know we're here, and they will know we're here. Oh, what a shot! She got him with one shot. We lost the AMX 13 F3, though. Now, the damage roll for the 105mm AP rounds is 350, but it penetrates 64mm of armor. Much more armor. And, of course, the FB304 has very light armor anyway. And that shell went straight through the side of the vehicle, and you heard that thud, thud as it went in. And it, <laughs> it just went straight through. Now, the bathtub is going up, and he's got 100% health, so... I'm not so sure the enemy is going to be happy to see him because the bathtub is a very powerful tank destroyer if it's used correctly. Oh, there's the griller. Okay, we can hit him from here. Now, just a question. Is he in sight? Is he... Yes, we can hit him. Just got to dial in very precisely on him. Get a kill shot straight off if we can. No, first shot didn't, but I'm going to try it again. No, it just churned up the ground. It's a difficult shot. He's not showing much armor. Rounds out. Kill shot! One went straight through the front. Okay, so that's two kills. Now, where is the last one? It's the SU-8. And that's going to be the big question. Can he... Oh, there he is! He's on the move. And the S-35CA managed to get him. So, unfortunately, no counter battery for Giddy Liddy, but two excellent anti kills towards the end with AP. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Where's well, the first class tank for Giddy Liddy in the 105 FH 18B2? In fact, uh, it's the first time she's had a first class in this vehicle because you've got the scrolls underneath, and that's always the first one. Uh, she also managed to get a bruiser mill for getting at least five critical hits in that game. She got eight. And she also got the high caliber for dealing the most damage in that battle overall. And her win eight for the game was 5,640. Let's have a look at the team score. There she is, top of the table, 1,626 hit points of damage to Giddy Liddy. The next high scorer was that Jackson with 1,260. Unfortunately, yes, he did get wiped out. And um, after that, it's the Achilles on the enemy team with 1,058. Now... Number of kills, it was shared between Giddy Liddy, the Jackson, the Achilles, and the Cromwell. All got three kills apiece. Then there's three players who managed to get two kills apiece. And when it came to uh, base XP, it's Giddy Liddy with 831 base experience points. 767 to the Jackson, 564 goes to the Fury. She fired 40 rounds in that game, so she only had two rounds left at the end of that game. Only two. She got... Eight direct hits and three penetrations, two of which came from the AP rounds. Splash damage on six, damage of 1,626 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. She spotted two enemy vehicles, damage five the enemy, kill three, 
and she did uh, on a premium count 43,574 credits and after ammunition resupply and there was no premium ammo used in that game 38,486 credits profit she got one bond for getting the uh, high caliber and 1,246 XP times two for the first victory of the day 499 for this being a premium vehicle took away 2,992 experience points altogether so yes i think actually if she'd engaged the t150 with an ap round when he was backing to her and she was getting those shots on his rear i think one of those rounds would have gone straight through him and wiped him out with one shot uh, i'm pretty sure it would have but she did show that that ap round if you can get it on target it can be deadly the problem is getting it on target as you saw with the gorilla he was only showing the front part of his vehicle on one side and so it was a very difficult shot to get it exactly on target but she did do it she managed it and two very nice kills in fact that kill on the fe304 considering he was moving at the time that was amazing so uh, congratulations to Giddy Liddy on the high caliber. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification button. We try to put out at least four videos a day if we can, sometimes more if we can as well. Um, but uh, you'll find there's a variety of tank replays, RT replays. And remember, we are the only channel on YouTube that regularly features World of Tanks RT replays. So thanks for watching.